Okay, mirror, mirror on the wall. Fools' names and fools' faces appear in public places. That's what they say. And we can't seem to stop these guys from carving their names and everything. You know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to come off. i got to put some shims in there. Might have to bust it off, tape it off, bust it off. Okay. Step one, tape it off. Try and contain it. Ideally, you want to have a piece of plastic that goes over the whole thing. I'm going to stick stick some shims underneath here. Try and shim it out. Hopefully, it won't break, but I don't know. This is the first time I've done this. Isn't this the way they do it on YouTube? Okay, right. Okay, so the theory is stick those in, the wedges, shims. Let them sit for a little while. See so you can hear it start to buckle. We've already got cracks. Cracks here, here, here on the main one. Looks like the main one's gonna come off easier than this one here. So I'm gonna tape off the top one, main one, and then uh, try and pull it off. Take these shims out. Try and pull the main one off. We have to do some painting in here. Cover up that gap. Who knows? Uh, that's what we got. We got a pretty big gap here. You can see we got some goop here. Mm, okay, so I got my little handy dandy ice hack and going along the edges here as far as I can try and get this loose. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take that back one off. It's gonna be a big one big right, false so. swoop, right? There's going to be a whole another project, right? There were three mirrors on this wall. Three mirrors, count them. Uh, so, there's another one's got to come off. Whole area's got to be prepped. It's going to be a, probably another day deal for me. Uh, so, yeah. Check out that artwork, man. That's, that's a regular Rembrandt, right? Uh, so, yeah. Pull this one off, clean it up. See if I can get some spackle, spackle that up, start over, <coughs> maybe tomorrow. Petty archaeological expedition. This ancient mirror. Put in like 25 years ago, 20 years ago. Ancient hieroglyphs. What does it all mean, Mr. Natural? It means it's all got to come down. New stuff happening right away. Right? I always wear gloves. Avoid getting cut. This is, this is for informational purposes only. Use this information at your own risk. This shit can cut you badly. Okay, so we're just going at it a little bit at a time. And kind of letting it do its thing. It's a matter of patience, right? That's what you gotta do sometimes. You just gotta be patient. Blows. Like long lost. Victoria used to say, there she blows. Okay, so the shins, if you drop the shins down and you wedge the uh, thing back and forth, you kind of teeter it on the shins in the middle, it will eventually come out, as you can see. Now hopefully it isn't glued into this. This is not glued all up and I'll be able to pull it right out of here. Okay, so Got kind of touched up there. I don't know if that's good enough or not. Pretty close matchup. Tackled in. Just need to put the mirror in. And. Okay, pretty much got her up. I just need to put the little, little holders on. Now she's be good. Take that tape off. I'm gonna start it out with, I'm gonna loop the duct tape on the sticky side, make loops, stick it up there. Then I'll put the, the clamps on. Okay. 